a westerly man has been charged with manslaughter after police say he lit an illegal firework on top of a man's head, killing him back in May. Target 12 investigator Kate Wilkinson is here now with what newly obtained court documents reveal. Kate? Records show 40-year-old Richard Murray admitted to using a cigarette to light a firework on top of David Ziegenbuss's head. Now, Ziegenbuss died from his injuries the next day. Roughly 160 pages of court documents obtained by Target 12 detail what police say led up to the death of 39-year-old David Ziegenfuss. Using cell phone videos, witness accounts, and forensics to piece together the chaotic scene that unfolded here on Pound Road in the Bradford section of Westerly on May 12th. According to multiple witness accounts, Ziegenfuss had been drinking after work following an argument that morning, the day before police say he had purchased fireworks in New Hampshire. According to court documents, Murray told police that the pair had started setting off fireworks. The account says Murray told police he wanted to stop after firing a few, but said Ziegenfuss asked Murray to help him launch fireworks from Ziegenfuss's head. The documents show Murray told police Ziegenfuss wanted to use ceramic tile as a level surface, saying it would be like a bulletproof vest. Murray told police he initially said no, but Ziegenfuss essentially told him to man up. From there, court documents say Murray told police Ziegenfuss placed two floor tiles on top of his head. Ziegenfuss then placed the loaded mortar tube on top of the tiles, and Murray lit the fuse with a lit cigarette. Several witnesses tell police the mortar did not go off properly, and Ziegenfuss collapsed. Police say they saw people at the home attempting CPR when they arrived. Court documents say Ziegenfuss was taken to Westerly Hospital. He was later flown to New Haven, where he died the next day. The autopsy report reveals Ziegenfuss died from a fractured skull. Westerly's police chief previously told 12 News the firework used in the incident was not legal in Rhode Island. Murray pled not guilty earlier this month and was released on personal recognizance. Target 12 attempted to get in touch with Murray, but did not have success. He's due back in court on October 4th. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Kate Wilkinson, 12 News. All right.